Hello everyone, my name is Nesik and welcome back to my movement tutorial series for Fistful of Frags. This is the third part and I'm going to be going over bunny hopping. And bunny hopping is basically a technique, well, I'm sure most of you already know, but in case you don't, it's a technique where you jump once, you gain some speed while in the air using the air strafing from the first tutorial, and then as soon as you hit the ground, you jump again. And you can keep, you can keep your speed that you gained in the air into your next jump. And this one's a bit special because it will require a change in your configuration if you haven't done it already. And unfortunately for those of you that like to change weapons with the scroll wheel, what you need to do is bind your jump key to the scroll wheel so that you can bunny hop. And so the easiest way to do that is to open up the console and you type bind M wheel down or it can be M wheel up if you prefer to scroll upwards to bunny hop plus jump. Just like that. Bind M wheel down plus jump. And that will make it so that when you scroll down on your mouse, it will jump you like that. And the reason that you need this is because it's extremely hard to time a bunny hop if you just do it with the space bar. Because you need to jump in the exact same tick or frame that you land on the ground. And if you don't, then it doesn't, it doesn't work. You lose your speed, right? Like if I were to just jump and then jump. Like when you land on the ground with this full of frags, you get slowed down a little bit, and so that slowdown will affect you unless you bunny hop in the exact same tick that you land uh, when you hit the ground. So what I meant to say, yeah, if you, if, you hit, if you hit the jump key, as soon as you hit the ground, then it works. And so by scrolling down on the mouse wheel, what you're doing is spamming that jump input into the computer so that all it's getting is plus jump every single frame. And that makes it way easier for you to land your bunny hops. And luckily in Fistful of Frags it's completely consistent, it's not like Counter-Strike where you'll miss them half the time. In Fistful of Frags you can, you can always consistently bunny hop just by spamming the mouse wheel, it's very easy. And the unfortunate thing is that you can only bunny hop once at a time, you can only do one bunny hop in a row. So you can't just go bunny hopping all over the map and get infinite speed, it doesn't work like that unfortunately. But I'll demonstrate a bunny hop right now, just like that. And so I cover a lot more ground than I would have if I just did two normal jumps. It feels good. It makes you sway back and forth because you have to air strafe to get this uh, to get this extra speed to make the bunny hop worth it. And so, since you're doing that, obviously, it makes you harder to hit. It's a great time. It it feels good. It's useful for your gameplay, and it lets you move around the map more confidently. You can do bunny hops off of like higher surfaces, so I can do a bunny hop off like that. So I'll show you a very tough jump just for demonstration purposes, so that I can show you how falling onto a steep slope and bunny hopping in that direction will give you a speed boost. Oops, let me try that again. There we go. And so you can gain a whole lot of speed by jumping off steep slopes like this one here on the church tower. And there's not too many spots where this is useful, but there's a few lying around the maps which I'll show off if I ever do map tutorial videos, which I probably will. But really that's about all there is to bunny hopping, and I would highly recommend that you combine it with air strafing and crouch jumping from the previous videos, because that's where you get all your speed. If you crouch jump, you get more time in the air. If you air strafe, you gain more speed in the air. And if you bunny hop, then you give yourself another whole jump's worth of time to do, to do your air strafing and continue gaining speed, continue changing direction. And uh, unfortunately, there is a strange limiter on the b hop and basically that is that you can't crouch jump when you b hop and you used, you used to be able to jump into a bunny hop and then crouch in the air and use that or you could bunny hop while crouching but now it doesn't work if i do a crouch jump and i hold down crouch the whole time and try to bunny hop you see i just get stopped i lose all my speed it goes right down to 87 or something like that like that see and sometimes I find this happening to me when I'm trying to bunny hop on the train if I'm using if I'm using my crouch key. So I would recommend not pushing crouch after you do your first crouch jump. So you push crouch to get the extra height and then you let go of it as soon as you know you've got that. But that's about all there is to bunny hopping. I hope this video helped. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll be back next time with a tutorial on long jumping which will bring all of these techniques together for the biggest jump. Thanks guys.